Diego Maradona, the first player in football history to set the world record transfer fee twice. The FIFA player of the century, a World Cup winner and footballing genius who could do with the ball what others could only dream of. He achieved so much and all from a working class slum outside Buenos Aires. He was a fifth of eight children. Football was his way out of the ghetto. To the Little Onions, the junior team of the capital city's Argentinos juniors. He was so good he was making his professional debut at the age of just 15. And there were six years at Argentinos and Boca Juniors. Para Maradona. As Maradona became a teenage sensation in Buenos Aires. He was signed by Barcelona for a then world record fee of £5 million in 1982. And the trigger for a move to Napoli, who Maradona transformed after another world record fee. To Serie A champions for the first time. He won the Scudetto twice, plus the UEFA Cup. There was glory on the pitch and with it fame and fortune in Napoli, the catalyst for drug abuse, excess and mafia associations. Culminating with a 15-month ban for cocaine use at Napoli in 1991. By this time Maradona was already a world champion with Argentina with whom he played at four World Cup finals. The first of them in 1982 was the first glimpse of Maradona excelling on a global stage at the age of just 21. The 1986 World Cup win in Mexico came after the infamous victory over England and, is that goal going to be allowed? and the hand of God goal at the Azteca Stadium. Peter Schulten is claiming he was fouled and that goal is going to be allowed. Maradona's second goal in that match was later voted the goal of the century and the greatest in the history of the World Cup finals. It was a prelude to Argentina beating West Germany in the final in the same stadium. Maradona was the player of the tournament. He appeared to be on another level, a one-man team. But his appearance at USA 94 was an infamous farewell to international football after 91 caps and 34 goals. The game that followed against Nigeria was his 21st and last finals appearance. Then he failed a drugs test and was thrown out of the World Cup. Argentina were knocked out soon after. Obesity and health issues followed his retirement as his weight ballooned and his testimonial arrived. There was a career in management, the Argentina national team for two years, but that ended ingloriously when they could only make the last eight of the 2010 World Cup finals. Maradona was a figure of fascination wherever he turned up in recent years, especially at the World Cup in Russia in 2018, where his erratic behaviour became an embarrassing sideshow for FIFA. Concerns about his health and mental state were being raised again. This was a career dogged by controversy, scandal and excess, yet remembered for the footballing sublime. Maradona and Pele were jointly voted FIFA Players of the Century in 2000 and for Argentinians he remained a legendary figure. Now Argentina is mourning its greatest as the football world remembers a genius and icon of the modern game. And these are live shots outside Diego Maradona's home, uh, just outside of Buenos Aires, where he passed away age 60 after complications from surgery just a few weeks ago to treat a blood clot. As we understand it, he suffered a heart attack. So you'd imagine uh, now in Argentina, in three days of mourning uh, for their legendary star who passed at age 60, and certainly the tributes have come in. If Maradona was the best ever Argentinian player, and we'd have to say that is a safe statement, then the next best is... A current star for Barcelona and Argentina, little Messi. He's gone to Twitter to share his emotional response after the loss. A very sad day for all Argentines and for football. But he leaves us uh, and does not go away because Diego is eternal. I keep all the beautiful moments lived with him and I wanted to take the opportunity to send my condolences to all the family and friends. Of course, if there is a rival as best ever, it is retired Brazilian football great Pele. He responded also via Twitter. But sad news, I lost a great friend in the world, lost a legend. There's still much to be said, but for now, may God give strength to family members. One day, I hope we can play ball together in the sky. And, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, some regard as the best 
as it stands today, wrote a heartwarming tribute as well, saying that Diego Mandara, Maradona will never be forgotten. That is one thing we can safely say. A man who transcended football and was a true global star, Laura, before there was anything of social media. Everyone in the world knew Diego Maradona, and today they mourn his loss.